that the slow version of that was like an official version because it's so good. Three, two, All right. right. Okay, John. What was Let's that? see if, in fact, Dill can break the targets here because I feel like that's that who's the target. The target. Who is the target in this uh, in this role play? I feel like it's Numbers. I feel like Numbers is going to be like some sneaky, you know, Luigi target where it's just moving all over the place. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. Can't catch me. <laughs> oh, well, so far, actually, until this week, we've been covered in oil. Him. That's 65 for 72%. And not only is it unanswered, but it feels like right now, John is oh. just, he's dead. He got deep breathing at the last second, and it wasn't enough. That was his last breath. Anyway, so, Jesus, still with a full stock lead, um, but Numbers going oh, deep off stage to just get any amount of damage he can, which, you know, you kind of have to in this situation. Let's just hope he just, like, knows how to pick and choose when he extends. Oh, my God. Throwing the gyro right in his face before the laser could exit his eyes. Yeah, a lot of this feels that like uh, numbers tried to he he tried something when this game started. He's like, ah, let me do the strategy and see if it works, and it did not work. I mean, to be and fair, now, numbers is doing a really good job of like racking damage without taking hits. So he's just like, oh, you bodied well, my stock, I'll try and body your stock. Well, is what is like, I would say. <laughs> well, the thing is that he's uh, <laughs> he's completely playing a lot more on the stage. He's being a lot more in his face, not letting him get those crazy mm -hmm. things started. I think that even though that first stock was very convincing, I think that it was kind of testing the waters for John. <clears throat> it might have been like a very high risk test the waters, but it seems that right now he's uh Oh my god. Sheesh. He actually got the spike. You heard the sound. Oh my lord, what is happening? Goodbye. Okay. So right now we have a ridiculous lead for Dill. Uh, not looking too good for Numbies. See what happens. Okay. Yeah, Numbers just kind of like pulling back. He's just like, please just overextend. I'm not trying to like go for any trades right now. Because like that's one of the main advantages you have when you have a stock lead. It's like, yeah, I'll trade with you, stupid. Just further like building that lead. And yeah, uh, Dill doing a uh, not not the greatest nair and gonna eat that forward tilt. So now Numbers just doing his best to just like keep as much damage without taking any. And already building 80% on the following stock. Numbers actually doing a really good job of reverse three stocking basically. Okay. Yeah, Numbers are like completely changing up his movement. This is actually fantastic play. Actually, factually. All right. Oh! <gasps> Almost seals out that second stock. And now he's going a little bit deeper, but Dill ready to tech that. Okay. Okay. He needs to take the stock now if he wants like any real chance of like winning this game. But he's already done a fantastic job of like bringing it back. Now, can he go the whole nine yards? He's gotten about seven of them. That's not going to be a kill, but it's just going to keep him in disadvantage uh, as long as he can. All right. You good? Deep breathing just in time at the end right there. <gasps> Ooh. That's salutation. Huge numbers. Numbers bringing back from a two-stock deficit. Although I will have to say, I feel like a part of that was because he—it was like because he managed to do some damage on Dill, mm -hmm. then he was able to, you know, that put Dill in a certain position where he could get more damage. Because these low percent, like the game at low percents, has been just so solidly in Dill's favor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, Numbers is doing a really good job of being as untouchable as he can. But now it's beginning to catch up. 140 damage to Dill's 14. I. Uh, I think Dill got a bit of a wake-up call. He went, okay, he actually got that second kill. Let me uh, let me slow things down and, like, ch change some things up. Dill doing a fantastic job also of recognizing all the options that Numbers has to try and get off the ledge or put on some counter pressure. And he's just playing around all of them. That's another neutral air able to... 
just knock numbers away once again. Oh, he has to recover low. Beautiful from numbers, though. Even that neutral air is not enough, and that move is stale, so I think the next one numbers can even maybe survive. That's not a thing he survives from, And he though. died off the top. How, how am I... Why would I think that he would get spiked? <laughs> All right. I like how they made Rob like a 95% functional character. <laughs> yeah. They're like, okay, let's make Rob a work... Like work a little better this time, but we don't want him to work too much. Yeah, man, we want him to. He, he want. He want. We want you to st stomp you into the sky, because that makes sense. All right, so numbers uh, doing a little bit of a stretch, being like, all right, man, you know, kind of loosen up those soldiers. Shoulders. I mean, he can't be too upset with how he played the latter half of that game. Honestly, if he keeps, if he focuses on the good there, and like, and just keeps what he was doing, he could do really well starting on an even ground. You know, but uh, a lot of mindsets shift just based on like the progression of the game. So like, right now we're in the in the beginning, so you know, players will be a little bit more reserved. So it's a little bit more difficult. Uh, to play that style when the other person is going to be playing a similar-ish style as well. Right now they're going for the little pokes, their small oh. strings, pushing some. Ooh, pretty now, sick advantage right there. <gasps> right now, uh, one thing you'll Blast. notice is that no, right. Dill is getting a lot of mileage off of that single hit. 59, 68%. Numbers hasn't had a chance to get back to neutral yet, so. If Numbers is only getting 38% off of his hits and Dill is getting 90 plus, yeah, like how could he Ooh, hope to win? That's that was actually a really great trade for Dill, but okay. wasn't able to steal it out, so not gonna super. Oh, wow, <laughs> that was actually really sick. Cause like he knew he got he knew the spacing that where it landed, so like you saw. Like, he knew the perfect distance oh, that, yeah. that Downso was going to send him. He was like, yeah, this is going to send you well, right back. That was back. a calculated Amazon delivery drone. Yeah. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Delivered him at kill percent. All right. And so Numbers is in that position similar to game one. <laughs> yeah, tilted him with his shoulder. <laughs> now, do you think a, a comeback on this stage will be harder than on Battlefield? Um, I'm not too sure. I mean, the fact that like this stage is the widest of all of them, uh, it gives them a lot of space. But you know, counter it gives Dill a lot of space too. I feel like Numbers needs space less than Dill does. Not to mention though, the what Numbers? Oh my God, we forgot. Everyone remembers that move as it kills you at like 30 off stage. We forget that it, its original intent was a reflector. No matter what, he kills you at side B, even if it's across the stage. Oh Who my. Was broken. <sighs> I forgot what I was going to say. <laughs> anyway, all right. So, yeah, John in a very similar situation. Oh, now I remember. Uh, what John was able to do in that last game, like, that sort of comeback, you could kind of pin up as a bit of a gimmick in the sense that like you shouldn't fall for it twice where like now Dill's going to be hyper aware of like why why didn't th why didn't things work out when he was trying to just steal off that game right so now John has to like mix up twice as much uh, to, to get something like that to happen it's, and on a stage like this being as wide as it is he's just like all right I can catch my breath do you go deep breathing I, I don't care all right, I got my toys, and I'm charging my laser, you know? In general, I think just the nature of the stage also, it's been a lot harder for Numbers to not trade. Like, he's get like, or, you know, he's just getting hits here and there. There's projectiles from across the screen. He's not able to always be aware of them. And that means that already 72% has been racked up on him. If he can close the stock out now, you know, we have a, we have a real story to tell. But... Oh... Whoa. Honestly, if you're, I feel like Dill took that hit. He's like, all right, I'll eat like the 5% from like a single hoop. Gets me back to stage, just fine. Numbers has the sun salutation. 
Oh, that forward air to interrupt that the combo that I think Thumb was just trying to pull off. Now, it's worth noting that Wii Fit does heal. So, even if he gets down by a lot, if he takes a slower pace, he can make up some of that deficit just by the nature of his character. But, I mean, look at this, 207% onto Dill. ROB. Okay, that should be it. Forward throw nah. is not enough. Nah. Rob has led in his base for a firm oh, landing. Man. And you could tell after that didn't kill, numbers just like got hit by three things in a row. I mean it's so demoralizing when yeah. you think that you finally got that thing that can give you a chance. That's probably Jesus. it though. Back throw just yeet him out of there. That's gonna be Dill moving on into uh grand finals where he gets his rematch against the bus. Yes, all aboard. <laughs> all aboard the, the bus. <laughs>